This is a graph. And it's a graph of the most popular website builders. Take a look at the top two. It's Wix and Squarespace. There's a reason Wix and Squarespace are so popular. They're both pretty great, but they do have differences, which I'll explain in this video. We'll discuss templates, the editor, features, e-commerce, SEO and security, and pricing. Now I do have my preference between Wix and Squarespace, which I'll share at the end, but I'm gonna try to be accurate and fair because at the end of the day, you can create a great website with either Wix or Squarespace. So let's start with templates. Here we are in Squarespace choosing a template and there's a bunch we can choose from. I think Squarespace has the best templates of any website builder. They definitely have a look and feel, lots of white space, full typography, and plenty of room for photography. Okay, let's choose this template. Now we're in the Squarespace editor. And let's start by customizing this template. We'll go to design, site styles, and let's choose some colors for the template. Now we can set our own colors or choose from these preset palettes. I like this one. Okay, now let's move to Wix. Now here we are selecting a Wix template. Let's take a look at some examples. Now Wix has quite a few templates. In fact, Squarespace has 153 templates, while Wix has 881. But while many Wix templates are nice, there are definitely some outdated ones too. Okay, let's choose this template. And here we are in Wix. And like Squarespace, we can select between different colors for our template. This works nice. So that's templates. Let's keep moving along and compare the editors. Here we are back in Squarespace. Now let's add a new page. We'll make it an about page. So we'll click edit and start with a blank section. From here, we can start adding blocks to our page. Now Squarespace has a bunch of blocks to choose from. We're just going to add a text block and we'll make it a heading and then we're going to move it. Now, as we move it, notice the grid that pops up. Our text block aligns on this grid. Let's drop our heading here and then we'll add a paragraph. Now it seems like there's just a little too much space. So let's edit this section. We'll change the height to small and yeah, I like that a bit better. Now we're editing the desktop site, but we can also switch to mobile and make changes for that as well. Okay, now let's look at Wix's editor. Let's go to pages, add a new page. We'll make it blank and we'll call it about page again. Now in Wix, we add elements to a page. Like Squarespace, Wix has tons of elements you can add. We're going to add a heading. Now, as we drag it around the page, you can see Wix doesn't have a grid. Instead, you can drag elements anywhere, even pixel by pixel. Let's put it up here. Then we'll add a paragraph. Let's make it wider and then in Wix, this little handle increases the space between the footer and the paragraph. That looks better. And just like in Squarespace, we can switch to mobile and make changes for that as well. Now you may not always wanna create your page from scratch using blocks. Sometimes you might want something that's already been pre-built for you. And that's why both Squarespace and Wix have sections. So in Squarespace, we can add a section. Let's check the about sections. Hmm. You know what? I like this one up here. Very nice. Now back to Wix. Let's add a section. And here is Wix's pre-built sections. I like the look of this one. Very cool. 
Over the last few years, Wix and Squarespace's editors have become more and more like each other. And as you can probably tell, today they're pretty similar. I personally prefer Squarespace. I find their editor feels calm, while Wix's can just be a little overwhelming sometimes. But it's really mostly about personal preference. If you want to try Wix or Squarespace, you can find a link to them in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I might receive a commission if you click those links. You might be wondering, how much does Wix and Squarespace pay YouTubers like this guy? And it's honestly a pretty similar amount between the two of them, though Wix generally pays a little more. Okay, let's discuss features. There are core features that every website builder just needs to have. For example, e-commerce, blogging, photo galleries, maps, forums, video players, and more. Both Wix and Squarespace offer all these core features. But beyond these core features, Wix has just a few more features than Squarespace. For example, Wix includes a live chat feature and a multilingual feature for adding multiple languages. With Squarespace, you'd need to work with another tool to add live chat or add multiple language support. But while Squarespace may not match Wix on every feature, I find they often do a better job overall of nailing the details of features. Here are some examples. This is a grid photo gallery on Wix, and it bugs me that this mug is cropped out. If you click the image, you can see why. The coffee is off center. Now in Squarespace, we have the same problem, but Squarespace has these little focal point handles that we can drag to adjust the focal point of the crop. It's a detail, but if you care about the details, it's just nice to have the option. Let's look at another example. Both Wix and Squarespace have podcast features, but if you read Wix's documentation, you'll see they don't actually host your RSS feed, which is pretty critical for podcast hosting. Squarespace, on the other hand, provides a built-in feed. So they've just thought a little deeper about what a podcast website might need. Even Wix's multilingual feature has a pretty bad rating on their own app marketplace. It's two stars out of five, and the reviews are pretty rough. I'm coming off a little harsh here. Remember, both Wix and Squarespace cover the core features really well. We're just talking about more unusual features here. And I think you can summarize and say Wix has a few more features, while Squarespace tends to do a better job of features. Now there's one feature that a lot of people do care about, and that's e-commerce. Both Squarespace and Wix have solid e-commerce, and they actually cover a very similar feature set. And there's not a lot to distinguish them when you compare feature by feature. In the end, I think they both offer more than enough to start a simple e-commerce website. And if you want a more advanced e-commerce website, you'll probably want to look at Shopify. Okay, let's quickly discuss SEO and security. For a long time, Wix had a bad reputation for SEO, but they've done a lot to improve on that. And my opinion kind of boils down to this. Today, both Squarespace and Wix have solid SEO features. And of course, if you want to do advanced SEO, you'll probably want to look at a CMS like WordPress. But for most people, Squarespace and Wix will be just fine. Squarespace and Wix also have great security, and that's because they're both website builders. And website builders provide hosting and keep your code up to date, so you don't have to worry about that. This is different from a CMS like WordPress, which requires you to provide hosting and keep on top of installing the latest versions. Not keeping WordPress up to date will make you vulnerable to hacks. Okay, last thing, let's discuss pricing. First things first, if you go to Wix.com and click pricing, these are the prices per month you'll see. But what's not obvious is that if you read the fine print, you'll see that these prices are for yearly subscriptions, not monthly. Squarespace, on the other hand, makes this a lot clearer. You can toggle between annual and monthly prices. This is obviously important to know if you're comparing between the two. Let's look at their plans. Squarespace has three pricing plans, and Wix has seven. The most expensive plan for both is $59. The cheapest plan is $16, though there's something you should know about Wix's cheapest plan, combo. If you read their documentation, you can see it's their only plan with a bandwidth limit, which basically means your website has a limit on how many visitors it can have. Squarespace's cheapest plan has unlimited bandwidth. So what are my thoughts? Honestly, I personally prefer Squarespace, and I use it for several of my own websites. I find the interface just more friendly and easy to use, and I also really love their templates. 
but my hope is that some people watched this video and came to the conclusion that they'd rather be on Wix because both Wix and Squarespace can work. At the end of the day, these are the two biggest website builders and they're super competitive with each other, often matching feature for feature. Like I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if you'd like to try Squarespace or Wix, you can find a link in the video description below. Building a website isn't easy, but these tools are pretty friendly. At the end of the day, I think it's best to just get started. Try something. You'll learn so much just by trying. Thanks for watching.